What is going on YouTube? My name is Aris, also known as Forward Flips. As you guys can see, it snowed like crazy here in Jersey. So yeah, we got 17 inches of snow in my part of New Jersey. And if you guys are wondering why I'm in an elevator or why I'm outside at night, it's because I'm at my storage unit. For those of you guys who are new to the channel, I'm a college student and I'm a reseller. I basically resell in five categories, toys, video games, shoes, clothing, and media, like DVDs, books, and stuff like that. I'll dive into other categories when I feel like it, if the items are profitable, but those are the main categories that I like to deal with. And if you guys are interested, and stuff like this, you guys already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, but only after you watch the video. If you actually like my stuff, if you don't like it, go ahead, never watch me again. Go watch Harry Tornado. Peep my sports bra. I'm just kidding. It's actually my GoPro mount. So we have a huge topic of debate today. Reselling versus working an actual job. I actually know both sides of the spectrum because I resell and I actually just started an accounting internship today. And the question basically is reselling versus a real job. Which one gets you more money? Which one is less stress-free? Hey guys, I'm at the store in my town called Seals and Deals, and I'm gonna try and see if I can find some stuff in there to flip for a profit. This store has one of the craziest toy selections. I love searching their stuff up on Amazon to see if it's profitable or not. Sometimes it's a hit, but sometimes it's also a miss. This isn't worth that much. It's $10 here, but it's a really cool Tampa Bay Buccaneers puzzle. It's pretty sick, but it's only worth $20 on Amazon. During Christmas, these swords were selling for me like crazy. They're only two bucks a pop, but selling them for like 12 bucks, but I don't need any more. I still have like 20 in my inventory. If they keep selling, I'll just buy more. They have these Disney puzzles right here four dollars a piece they have all these different kinds but the biggest one that does well for me is the winnie the pool one four bucks they sell for like 20 to 25 plus shipping i'm gonna pick up three of them because that's all they have here well i have no idea how much this is worth look at this mario kart thing this thing is selling for crazy money 83 on amazon fba but i'd probably only make like 55 at their fees so 40 plus tax would probably be like 44 bucks so not worth it for like a 10 dollar profit so far not really finding all that much but I'm just gonna keep looking maybe i'll find stuff in the video game section today all right, take a look at all these Mario plushes. $16. Take a look on Amazon. $58. 41 after fees. So at $16, bucks, that would be $25 profit on each of the blue ones. And then the Toad is going for $45 on Amazon. It doesn't show how much I'd make after fees right now, but I'd assume like $35. Probably be a double up has a great ranking, but I don't want to get that many of each one. Usually there's a limit of only like four per item. And then this guy is like $33, so I wouldn't be making anything on it. This is the only guy that I could maybe make $10 to $15 bucks each on, but I'm happy with the blue ones at $25 bucks each because that's like $100. And the ranking is $17,000, so that'll sell pretty quick in toys. This is part one one of their video game selection. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I pretty much already bought out all the good ones from this in the past that are actually profitable on Amazon. They're all like 10 bucks a piece. And then this is part two. They have some Minecrafts in there, but I already have a good amount and they don't sell it too often. But they do have these Diablos down here, probably like 10 to 15 copies. Actually, they probably like 40. I've been making good money on them, probably like $20 profit on each one. They're 15 bucks. So I'm definitely gonna try to grab some afterwards too. They've got some fry bits in here. Oh, but $64 right now. So I'm gonna have to pass on those. Combo boots, probably the same thing. Oh, actually 25 bucks, but still gonna pass on those. Can you guys see that up here? Doc Martens, $77 though, so gonna pass on that. And then we have this really cool Rainbow High Special Edition doll. It's 25 bucks, selling for like 75 free shipping. The cheapest list right now is like 60 free shipping. It'd be a double up, and it's a pretty good sell through rate, but I just don't feel like investing $25 or shipping it out right now. One of these, and I have three of the one of the poo puzzles. All right, guys, so that just happened, and let's just do a quick little recap. I spent $156 Ouch. in total, and let's do a breakdown of everything that I got. So you guys saw me pick up three of these Winnie the Pooh puzzles. I sell them for around $20 to $25 plus shipping on top. Sometimes even $30 just depends on the time of year and how many I have left. Spent $12 on three of those. Should be able to make turn it into like $75 plus shipping. And then I found one of these Call of Duty Modern Warfare's behind the counter. It's 15 bucks on Amazon. It's currently selling for $40 in FBA. So that's $30 after fees. So that's a quick double up. Look at that ranking, 1,503. It will sell super duper fast. And this is a crazy item for me. Diablo Eternal Collection. I literally sell it constantly every day between 53 to 56 dollars on amazon so that's about 40 dollars after fees and i'm spent 15 dollars on each of the copies so that's about 25 dollar profit on each one of them so that's a hundred dollars in profit right there let's just say 15 dollars in profit right here so that's 115 on the winnie the poos let's just say conservatively 70 so that's 185 dollars in profit and then we have these plush figures right here they're selling for 58 dollars on amazon it says 41 dollars after fees so that's about 25 dollar profit on each one of these as well i picked up four 
four of them. The funny thing is the limit in the store is actually four. Sometimes they let me grab more, sometimes they don't, but the limit is four. And this is all they had. They only had four anyways. So that's another $100 in profit. So look at all this stuff, $285 in profit just in one stop. And I literally was in there for about like 25, 30 minutes. I know there's a lot more stuff that's profitable in there, but I just don't have the time to go through it all right now. I can't believe how well we just scored there. Literally 30 minutes of time, around $300 in profit. Probably gonna have to spend another 30 minutes packaging it all up and sending it to Amazon. But an hour's worth of my time for around $300 in profit. If that's not insane ROI, I don't know what is. Thank you again, Steals and Deals. Thank you, thank you very much. So if you made it this far in the video, this is my girlfriend's dog, Beans. Hey, Beans. Hey, Beans, why do we name you Beans? Everyone needs to know. Everyone wants to know why you're named Beans. Tell them. Say, it's because my fart's stinky. Beans. Beans, stop being stubborn. Come on. All right, ready, guys? Watch this. Ready, set, go. She'll literally run. <laughs> go, Beans, go. 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 Good. Subscribe to this channel if you like beans. So moving on, we're trying to find some profit. I hit up Marshalls. They still have their yellow tag clearance event and they had some really cool like gaming lights. Found all these lights for super duper cheap. I'm gonna break it down afterwards, but they were playing copyrighted music in the store, which is why I'm doing a voiceover. They had a really cool Pac-Man light, Animal Crossing light, and this really cool light that said game over. And I hit up Burlington, but didn't find anything to resell, just my favorite socks. So let's do a quick recap of all the Marshalls stuff. So first of all, let me show you guys how much I paid. So I have no idea why but I didn't get charged sales tax. If you guys didn't know, sales tax here in New Jersey is 6.625. And I have no idea why I didn't get charged sales tax on all these gaming lights. No idea. I spent $30 in total on all these lights. I'll break it down even further. These game over lights are actually $4 on clearance. The Animal Crossing lights were $6 on clearance. And the Pac-Man light was $6 on clearance as well. And after eBay fees and cost of goods sold, I'm gonna be making $61.35 on all this stuff. And that's conservatively. I might be able to sell it for a little bit more. But just think about it. I was in Marshalls for around a half an hour. So that's $61 in profit there. And then you guys already know the Seals and Gills stuff that I bought early in the video as well. It's already all on the car. It's funny because I actually already started editing that video. But anyways, at Seals and Deals, we have $285 in profit conservatively. Plus another $60 here. So that's $345 in profit, probably for two hours of my time after packaging, listing, sending everything out to Amazon. So then if we take our calculator out and we take $345 divided by two hours that's 172 dollars an hour obviously it's not guaranteed that stuff will sell right away but if you're constantly selling stuff and buying new inventory every single day you're gonna keep seeing that return on your investment especially if you're selling stuff that's very profitable and stuff that you know is actually gonna sell relatively quickly and keep in mind if I only spent an hour worth of sourcing just to get like 350 dollars worth of profit could you imagine if I hit a bunch of different thrift stores in one day or hit a bunch of other stores or hit Walmarts other clearance stores other Marshalls other Burlingtons, I can make so much money every single day. But the thing is, it's value for my time as well. Like you do need time for all this. I'm happy with spending the time that I have. That sparks the debate right here. So before we jump into all the stuff that I actually did sell on eBay, basically that sparks the debate of whether you should be reselling or whether you should be working a real job. So I don't like disclosing details of how much I'm gonna be making, but let's just say like an average salary a year is like 40 grand. And if you take 40 grand and divide that by 365 days, that means means you're making at around $110 a day. Let's just say, obviously, if you're making like 50 grand a year, it's gonna keep going up incrementally, like maybe 120, 130. But basically, if you can make like $200 every single day, that's doubling what you're gonna be doing a regular job. That's $80,000 a year. Obviously, that's pre-tax dollars. But then again, that's how much you'd be making at a regular job as well, pre-tax dollars. But it's just a great way to make some extra money. And you could probably eventually turn it full-time too, but I wouldn't recommend turning it full-time just like myself, I have not turned it full time just because you need stability. You need a lot of knowledge in this business and not just that you need a lot of time. So personally, if you do have those three things, I do think reselling is better, but only if you do have like money saved up to buy stuff such as inventory, or if you have an emergency fund, just in case if something goes wrong and you have a bad sales week or a bad sales month, or even a couple of bad sales months. But anyways, I love reselling and that's what I personally do. And I would highly recommend everyone doing it, even if it is just for 30 minutes every single day or a couple hours a week, however your time or your schedule works. So let's move into some of the items that sold now. I have my GoPro chest mount set up. I told you guys it would come in handy. I absolutely love this thing. But anyways, first item that sold is this Nike Copa America 2021 Strike Ball. I actually picked this up at the Nike outlet when I was on vacation with my girlfriend in Florida. Paid $20 for this. It's funny because I actually would have bought more, 
but my suitcase only had the capacity to fit one of these, but I'm happy it sold really fast. I wish I could have bought more, but I'm really happy just getting this. Next item that sold is this Florida Gators hat for $11.25. Picked this up at the Goodwill bins for probably around 25 cents. Unfortunately, I have a ton of hats over here and I can't find it. I'm hoping to find it later on after I grab everything, but we'll just see what happens. If not, I might have to cancel this order. Next up, we have this brand new Marvel Avengers toy. This sold for $12 plus shipping on top. I paid $1 for this at Steals and Deals. It's funny because if I was on Gated on this when I first found this, these were actually going for $40 on Amazon FBA, but now I just have to settle with $12 plus shipping on top. They don't really sell that often on eBay. They probably wouldn't have sold as often on Amazon either, but happy to make like a quick little $10 profit on it. Next item that sold are these Uggs right here. I probably shouldn't have sold these at all because of the condition they're in, but I did disclose how bad of shape they are in. They're right here. They sold for $10 plus shipping on top. Pick these up at the bins as well. I probably had like a dollar into those Uggs and we have this Skylanders game right here. This sold for nothing crazy, $3 plus shipping. Paid probably 15 to 20 cents for this at the Goodwill bins. And then we have this Miss Peggy Lee CD. Also picked this up at the bins. Sold for $7.50 plus shipping on top. If you guys watch this channel, you guys already know about this item. Spent $10 on each of them. Grabbed like 10 to 15 pairs. This one right here sold for $165 plus shipping on top. I'm running very low. Let me see how many I have left. I literally have two pairs of jeans left after this, but seriously sick flip. And then next up, we have this Winnie the Pooh puzzle sold for $25 plus shipping on top. Have all my puzzles right here and a couple in my other bin. This lady actually got two. She got this one and the Ariel one, so I have to grab that one too and show you. So yeah, the same lady that actually bought the Winnie the Pooh puzzle also got this one and she spent $30 plus shipping. So in total, she spent $55 plus shipping on top for both of the items. And I'm actually going to refund her the excess shipping because she shot me a message and asked if I can combine shipping on both of them. And I said, yeah, no problem. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my my little makeshift light in my storage unit right here and if you did enjoy the video please toss a like it's free it's free and subscribe to this channel if you really dig the content and you want to see more content like this and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day peace